feel like this is phase two now of the trip. Phase one was going out, putting a boat in the water, doing some fishing, catching some fish. That was pretty cool. This is phase two. This is the camping trip. I'm going to sit here and watch the sun go down. Here actually brought me a supper. Uh, I don't want to camp right here. It's too close to the open lake right here. I want to go around this bend right camp back in that cove, I think, is where I'm going to go. Anyways, but I'll wait. I'll know when that boat leaves. I'll be able to hear it leave, and I'll go over there and check it out. Hey, glad you came along. Hope you like the camp. Hopefully there will be no snakes jump up in the boat tonight, no boogie monster. Mrs. Melissa asked me, she said, are you going to do that? Aren't you scared? I said, no, I'm not scared. She goes, what if somebody tries to get you? And I said, well, you know, I don't know. I mean, uh, what, it's going to be like a frogman or a, like a Navy SEAL come off that shore and come scuba diving out here, snorkeling out here to get me? She says, well, it could. I said, well, you're right. You're right, it could. Somebody could try to get me, but I think I'm always pretty prepared just in case. Probably if it'll be anybody, it'd be a game warden come by and say, hey man, what you doing? I say, yeah, I'm a night fishing, and I'm gonna sleep a little bit, and night fish, sleep a little bit, and night fish. He'll say, okay, good luck. I'm gonna throw a cast in back here. This is where I stopped earlier, and I thought maybe I'd catch something, I never did. Leave it running here for a minute and see if maybe I can't catch something on the first cast. I rarely do that. I see guys do that. Of course, that's a lot of editing and stuff, too, but I see them throw it out there, and bam, they, get, they hit one. I usually, usually got to shut the camera off and then turn it back on. First cast, bam, hit it. Snagged. Now I gotta pull my anchor and drift that way, I guess. Oh well. Fishing. If you can't handle the struggles, don't get in the boat. Gotta shut this off. Why well, drive me crazy? That thing beeping the whole time. Gone fishing. There's a sign out on the door. Gone fishing. And I'm gonna stay out till dawn. Gone fishing. I might even spend a night out on the water. Oh yeah. Don't you hate it when you get some moss on your lure? Here comes the evening. Evening is your best time to be gone fishing. There's a sign up on the door. Gone fishing. Yeah, I like to catch some more. Gone fishing. Oh, yeah. Better be quiet. Fish probably don't like my singing anyways, and they're going to be like, Get out of here, Mr. Lawrence. What the heck's the matter with you? You done operated a bunch on us already. They operated on me too. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to flip you off. <laughs> That's my band aid. <laughs> Officially supper time. Got my hands all gelled up. Well, I've been doing so much reeling, it's peeling my hand right here. Got me a ham sandwich, blueberries, applesauce with cinnamon, carrots, vanilla yogurt, and some pure leaf tea unsweetened. Yeah. Ah, that tastes good. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. Cheers.
Thank you, Lord, for a good day. I appreciate it. You know, when I come to places like this and I just listen to how quiet it is and how much that regenerates my soul just to hear that, the quietness and the wind and the waves and the birds. And it gets me thinking, how do people in big cities, where do they find that relief? I mean, like if you lived in New York City, right downtown New York City. Man. If you live there, how do you find the quiet that you need for your soul? Is it through headphones? Do you put headphones on and music? Because I would think unless you had the a soundproof apartment, you would always be hearing sirens and noise and people. And Never lived in a big city myself. I've been to big cities. Lots of them. I remember one time I stayed in Indianapolis, downtown. I mean, right in the center of downtown at an apartment. And it was a nice, cool night, and the big windows, the old windows were lifted up. And I crashed out there. It seemed like around 9, 10 o'clock, the city kind of got quiet. And then about midnight, one, it just came alive. All kind of people out on the street walking. I know it's trash trucks. Trash trucks run downtown in big cities that's when they pick up a lot of trash at the restaurants and places like that well, i think i see an eagle over here in there i don't know if you can see that or not i don't want to lose them i've got some olives and some pickles. Class and pickles. Uh, and I'm not sure what kind of olives they are. You know, stuff like this is good for you. You know, the olive and olive oil and... Mmm. Damn. Glad I wasn't chopping on that. There's a seed. I rarely find a seed. I mean, these big jar of olives I go through, I rarely find a seed. One of them days. Well, I hurt my finger. Could have busted a tooth right there. I'll give that guy to the fish about an hour or so before sunset. This is why I probably wouldn't be a very good fishing channel. There used to be some guys like, I think his name was Bill Dance maybe, that you know had other things besides fishing on his channel. Well, a lot of fishing channel these days, almost the whole channel is, you know, they're wearing a harness and with their camera right here and they just catch fish, catch fish, catch fish. And if you're watching a fishing channel, and that's all you want to do is see people catch fish. Well, that's a good fishing channel then. With me, it's it's more about being out here on the water. About other things going on. And if I catch fish, it's cool. So I don't think that I'd probably qualify for a fishing channel, but I don't know. Man, I can only imagine how much wildlife there is right here. In this Tillery Hill, in this peninsula that sticks out. I don't think anybody does anything with it. You know, there's not really official hiking trails. And I don't think that you can go out there and camp on it and... It's just this giant peninsula basically just sits here and does its own thing, I guess. So there's got to be all kind of wildlife in there. Huh. Guarantees bobcat. Maybe even a mountain lion. People don't think mountain lions are around here, but they've migrated all the way across the United States. Could be one just passing through. Yeah, probably the greatest animal that I fear running into, I don't know, I guess there'd be several. Grizzly bear, wouldn't want to run into a big grizzly bear. Badger probably wouldn't be a lot of fun. But a mountain lion, man, mountain lion or cougar, man, I tell you what. I've watched those things fight on videos. You know, it's like the Shotokan karate. They fight with, you know, front paws, back paws, tail, teeth. Just everything, just ferocious, so fast. Just, you know, you know how fast a cat is. Blueberries. Blueberries are pretty reasonable this time of year. You can get a pint of them for about $2.99. A lot of good nutrition in them. Mm. Very, very good. Man, I 
I had no idea those jet skis could go that fast. That's incredible. Well, I've had my dinner. Go and go on around the bend here. I think I saw that boat leave just a little while ago. That capture me a good spot. I enjoyed the sunset right here. I kind of want to set camp up and get everything done before it actually gets dark. That's always better. Too many times I've waited and waited, especially on a canoe trip, and I paddled and I kept going and going mile after mile, and all of a sudden I found the perfect spot, but it was almost dark. And sitting camp up in the dark's no fun. Always better to give yourself a little bit. All right. Thank you, Sunset. I appreciate it. Very, very good day. Except for the old catfish bite. I should say catfish stab. Except for that, good day. Good day of fishing. I think tomorrow's even going to be better. And I'm really looking forward to a good night's sleep tonight on Patoka Lake. Those are pretty nice to have. Really like those little winches. What a beautiful day. And now, let's see what the night brings. Let's see what kind of animals I hear on Tillery Hill at night. So quiet. Except for the animals. Fish is not over with. Oh, <laughs> got all. I did have one on there. Yeah, I definitely got to get a Mooney hooked up or I got to get something where a remote control to turn my camera on. I'm losing too many fish by trying to come here and turn my camera on. I'm going to go ahead and get my mosquito net up. I started doing some night fishing, some evening fishing, and all of a sudden the mosquitoes are coming from everywhere. I guess they sense me out here and they're all over the top buzzing around and they're going to eventually settle down. So I'm going to get the mosquito screen up as soon as I can. Mosquito net to the rescue. Okay, this is going to be hard to see, but I got the mosquito netting up. And I tell you what, just in the nick of time, those things are swarming by the thousands above the canopy. But I'm all enclosed right here. No problems at all. As long as I keep all the gaps shut, I'll be good. Okay, I've got everything set up, and this is really a nice floating cabin. I gotta admit that. I'm really impressed with this. You know, I've got so many mosquitoes just swarming on the top of the Benaby top up there. I guess they sense that I was out here and they all just come flying from inland and coming over here across the water and, and getting above me. And, you know, I was able to get the mosquito net up just in time. And that's really lucky. If I would have waited any longer, they would have been inside here. But let me show you around the cabin, the floating cabin, the LAF floating cabin. So here we go. I got my cot all set up right here. Sleeping bag, pillows, and you can see it's it's, it's a legit cot. It's, it's an army cot. Okay, so there's the mosquito net set up everywhere. All the way around. Of course, here's my chair, my office chair if I want to sit. Look at all the bugs already starting to gather 
on the outside of the mosquito screen. So that's pretty cool. This, this really works good. And this was a canopy that you can buy for like a bed inside your house in case you live somewhere where you got to keep the windows open and to keep the mosquitoes out. I was thinking like somewhere like Africa. Somewhere like that it'd be nice. All right, so there you go. So I'm all set up. You know, after a long day like this, I'm kind of tired. I'll probably crash out here in a little bit. Uh, give me a little drink of water and just relax. Oh, I see the first stars out and it is bright as can be. Like I said, there's absolutely no wind tonight. So as soon as I shut up, I'm going to start hearing the animals out here. I took a lot of gear on this trip. The Selvin is definitely not too big because with all the gear that I take, now normally I wouldn't have all this camping gear. So Ooh, I just heard something. I think it was a big splash. All right, this is going to be cool. Oh, the last thing I'm going to show you before I crash out, my LED lights that I mounted. I haven't even tried them out yet. Let's see how they work. Heard the splash again. What if that's a sea monster? Ooh. For everybody that's scared of bugs and scared of things at night and things that fly around and things like that, you might want to go ahead and pause or walk away from the room for just a little bit, walk away from the video, because I'm getting ready to turn on these outside lights, these LEDs, and it's pretty amazing how much stuff is flying around already. It's early. You can kind of see them right there, how many there are out there. Let me take my other light and let me turn it on the flood and see if I can't illuminate these a little bit more. Now, how would you like to be camping tonight with all those guys around you? That would be pretty bad news, I think. <laughs> that is a lot. That's a lot of bugs right there. And this camera is not picking them up near what they are. There's a lot more than that out there. I guarantee you that. And I don't know if those are mosquitoes or if those are something else. Kind of hard to tell. Whew. I'm just glad I'm not out there. I'm glad I'm inside, not outside. But I, this boat will be covered in the morning. Okay, like any plan, you think about it, especially if you haven't done the adventure before. You think about it, you get out here, and once you're live in action out here, you realize certain things don't go as you did plan. For instance, my LEDs. My LEDs are motion detector lights, so there's, they should go off, and when there's motion, they'll kick on. I think there are so many mosquitoes and bugs outside that what's happening is they're swarming out there and they're causing the LEDs to stay on. So I'm going to have to override it and shut them off totally unless I hear something, and then I'll turn them back on. I never would have thought there would be that many bugs out there like that. Morning has come. Sleeping on the water. I thought the dreams would be crazy. They were. <laughs> Heard the drum beats. I mean, it was like crazy, man. Crazy. <laughs>